Hello everybody! In this video I'm going to show you how to install the 3GS boilerplate with Yoma. First, what is Yoma? This is a scaffolding tool for the modern web. Let me show you the home page. You got the funky logo like that. So that's a web scaffolding tool for modern web app. Uh, it allows you to install package, to scaffold your boilerplates, your various things that you need to scaffold, and um, to install a lot of cool things. Check it out. First, let's install this. We take this command, we go in our wonderful trusty terminal, and we do sudo npm install manage g yo. I type my password. And so you will start installing yo. We will let him do that. Let's come back to the slides. What is a 3GS borrow plate now? This is something to help you getting started. You're gonna install a sample of a project with all the basics, the basics that you do all the times. So you don't want to do that over and over. You want the tools to do that for you. This is what we are going to describe. In a few seconds, you got your 3GS project up and running. It is designed for fast bootstrap and good practice. Let's see how this installation is going. Okay, we are over and we got our yo and start yo being the command line tools for your map. Now we need to install the yo man generator for the barrel plate. Let's just use this line. Let me select this, that's why I don't do typo. sudo npm install minus g generator 3GS boilerplate. And we launch the install. It is installing. It is installed, except we are quite close to getting ready. So, let's generate our first barrel plate. First, we're going to create a folder for your 3GS project. Let's do that. MKDIR my 3GS project. CD my 3GS project. We got a folder. We're going to set a folder. Now, we're going to do generate the 3GS barrel plate with this wonderful command. Your 3GS barrel plate. My bad, our plate, and we got the wonderful ASCII R. For now, we're gonna take the default one. He asks you a bunch of questions in order to fine tune what you can do with the ball plate. Currently, we just want a standard one. We say yes, it generates a bunch of files. The interesting file for you is there that the index.html. This is the one you want to modify in order to play with the power plate. Let's look at the result. We start the mini mal HTTP server on the C. We go here and we go. We got our boiler plate running. This is it. This is a boiler plate. This cube is in WebGL with phone with three backlighting. Everything that you want. So we got basic 3GS boiler plate running. Excellent. So the code is in index.html as I said. We can tune the ball plate to your very own need. You don't need to take the default one. Let's see what happens if we do. We start the server. Now we regenerate the ball plate. And when he is asking some question like would you like the default one? You say no. You don't want the default one. Do you want to require GIS or not? Maybe you do, maybe you don't, I don't know, up to you to do. So let's say you don't. Hop! Do you would like do you like the web gel detection? Something like Do you want the user to be noticed if he doesn't have web gel? Yes, I want that. Do I want the browser resize, window resize to be under three suitably? Yes, I want that. So I keep this way you answer a bunch of questions. And when you answer those question, the boilerplate that is generated is fine-tuned for your need. This is the end of my talk. I hope you enjoyed it. See ya, people.